Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today I have uh, some new purchases for you to look at. And uh, we'll start with this 1891 Morgan dollar, uh, PCGS graded mint state 62. It's not a super rare date, but it is hard to get real nice uncirculated examples of this coin. This coin in MS62, which uh, is my least favorite grade, uh, <laughs> is a $75 type coin. MS63 is $100, not a big spread. Um, intriguing coin, because really, really, it looks to be nicer than MS62. It just has these lines on the face. But I'm, I'm really fascinated by these lines because they go up and down her cheek, and they look kind of dark. And the interesting thing is that these lines actually, well, look almost like a graffiti, like somebody marked them in. But if you look at them closely, they actually don't look like a normal scratch mark or contact mark. You see how it goes through the hairline and everything is dark? It doesn't quite come across in the video, but to the eye under magnification, that actually looks like it's in the metal. So, but overall, a very pleasing coin. Really hard to get in a higher grade mint state. MS64 is a $400 coin, so it jumps quite a bit. Next up, uh, 1921 Morgan dollar from the Denver Mint. This is the only year that the Morgan dollar was made at the Denver Mint. And that mint mark is so tiny. I joke that they took the uh, mint mark from the Mercury Dime and stuck it on these things. Uh, they're so hard to see. But, uh, I, you know, generally speaking, 1921 Morgans um, from Denver or uh, from the San Francisco Mint or Philly Mint even don't come uh, attractive. In other words, I've had lots of uh, high-grade mint state coins that don't have the eye appeal that this does. Um, I've seen MS65s that don't have the eye appeal. They may have technically been a nicer coin, but, but the, uh, the fields are just so satiny. Uh, and, and really nice on this coin. You know, look at the field in front of her is just really, really clean. Flows really nicely. And on the back, too, on the reverse, super clean field, super uh, bright and shiny. So nice, nice looking coin there. That coin retails for about $125. Let's take a break from the Morgans to take a look at a uh, Walk in Liberty Half Dollar. This Walking Liberty Half Dollar, 1945 from the Denver Mint, uh, pardon me, from the Philadelphia Mint, is uh, NGC graded Mint State 64. Real nice example. The coin's not expensive. Um, this is a series that's really fun to collect. Um, a lot of people put together what's called a short set, which is basically um, 1940 through 1945 from all the mints. The majority of those coins. Uh, you can buy a Mint State 64 for something around $50. And you can find plenty of Mint State 64s that have the eye appeal of a 65. You know, just a bright, shiny, contact-free coin like this one. And uh, really a fun area to collect. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful coin, uncirculated. Uh, next up, let's head over to, I have a quartet. Uh, they're not singing. I'm not singing. You're welcome. Uh, Mint State $65. Now three of them are in these uh, old green PCGS holders. And this one's in a holder that you may not recognize. Uh, it looks like an Annex holder a little bit. looks like some of the older Annex holders. And this is actually a company called PCI. PCI, believe it or not, 20 years ago we actually used PCI once in a while. Um, about the time they had these gold labels. They were really consistent, and they, they did a good job. It was just they never survived the market. Uh, it's like everybody else got overrun by NGC and PCGS. Um, you know, I, I always thought that PCI, uh, during this time period when we were getting coins graded from them, was very similar to Annex in its grading. Uh, pretty consistent. You just didn't want to send your real expensive high-end coins in. I think this coin holds just fine against these other PCGS coins that are Mint State 65. These are all 81S and 82S Morgans, which traditionally you get this uh, wow factor on the luster, uh, kind of like a proof-like fields to them. 
um, real bright shiny coins, all very nice coins. Um, and right now, typically you can pick up a coin for about 125, uh, maybe even less if you find a deal. Um, you know, maybe all the way down to about $100, somewhere in that price range. Uh, I'm not sure which one I like the best. They're all really nice coins. That 82S that we just looked at was was really, really clean. Didn't have a lot of contact marks to it. And we got one more 81S over here to take a look at. Pardon me, 82S. Also with those, those proof-like fields to it, nice and lustrous. Real pretty coins. All right, the final two coins I have to show you are um, an 1895 O and an 1886. Now the 95 O is a more scarce date, and uh, the 1886 is a common date. Now the 86 though, uh, the gray doesn't matter as much as is what we're looking at on this coin when it comes to the color. Uh, just a spectacular rainbow effect. Uh, the only thing it's missing is to not be you know all over the surface of the coin but you've got the yellow, the orange, the blue, uh, the magenta. The only thing you're not really getting is the green. Green I think is the hard color. You, you hardcore color people can tell me your thoughts on that. What's nice about this coin is that um, we actually have some pretty good action on both sides. So you actually have really that high, intense, uh, sometimes I'll call it cobalt blue. Uh, it looks like it was up against um, a furnace or something. So really nice, nice color on that coin. You know, as a typical coin, this would just be a $45, $55 coin. Um, this is probably going to trade at $100 uh, with that type of eye appeal. So, and finally, this 1895 O, 95 O's tough date for Morgan. All my Annex people come and come and drool uh, by this coin, if you would. Uh, you know, this is a coin that has come down a little bit in, in price over the last um, couple of years. This was uh, originally, I think, someone probably paid thirteen hundred or eleven hundred, whatever those numbers are. Currently, this is about an eight hundred dollar coin. And uh, Annex created this AU50. There's a huge spread on this coin in the AU department. So an AU50 is 800. Uh, AU58, of course, which this is not, but at the top end of the AU, uh, almost uncirculated bracket, you're talking about a coin that's close to $4,000 in price. Overall, I like the grade of this coin. I think AU50 is a nice grade. Um, I've seen AU53s kind of with a similar look to them. Uh, but uh, nothing wrong with the grade on this, and uh, this will be up on our on our website, available for sale at, at the same time this video hits. So, anyway, really nice coin. So there's some new purchases. Thanks for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner, or watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.